It is. It's really random. But it's just a way to connect up all of these different points. So that it's easy for prisoners to sort of get around. But at the same time, metal detectors need to sort of be in strategic locations. This one could just sort of go straight. Oh, no. This path we can go straight in. But like a big course of action is just to turn this all into a sort of buildable zone. Right now, we get that out of the way and then we could just do a bit more planning. How do I feel about this? If I looked at this zoomed out, obviously it's not going to be fully symmetrical because of course the problem is we're going to keep this as a forestry. I mean, maybe later on we could turn it into another workshop if we have enough people. But I don't think that's really going to happen. At the same time, I can't forget about our programs as well. Oh, no, of course. We need a workshop for it. How? What are, what are the parameters for a workshop? It needs to be a 5x5. Five five. So, you know, these can really work here. We can have a workshop right there. We can definitely have one right there. I just feel like it's an odd amount of space. Do we need... I mean, I haven't really looked up any guides on sort of appropriate workshop construction, which I suppose is my fault. Should really have the game running in the background, even if it's just slowly. I could have this into two workshops. I just feel like having this big room is a bit odd. Go away, phone. Leave me. Why put it on vibrate? It's not. Anyway. Um, where am I going? Planning. I sort of like the idea of this being a bit more open. Although, we should definitely do that. That's odd. <laughs> that, like, went, I went crazy looking at that just then. I feel like my whole worldview just changed right before my eyes. It's just odd that we only have this bit sticking out. But it's a nice aesthetic. It's got that sort of, like, little egg... Like, crossroad kind of look. Egg crossroad kind of look. Exactly what I was going for. I'm trying to visualize this. Five. I don't... I don't know how to imagine this. From this walkway... I mean, let's say... Why can't I visualize this? We just do that and then narrow it across. By like these two bits. I feel like these bits are going to be the narrow, but it's going to stick out by one. Like that. And then we'll get rid of sort of these benches here. And then just have another walkway coming in from here. So it sort of pronunciates it, pronunciates it sort of makes it seem a little bit more important. Have this other pathway sort of stick out. One side going in that way, one side going in that way. I don't know where this pathway is going to go. Nowhere, really. Security room? That's a good point. We need to get a security room. Probably around about here. This can be a sort of particular area. So we can have a security room right here, which this can be where the checkpoint is. So security room, security door, probably another door right there. So door right here, door right there. I feel like the security room being here is a good idea because it's close to the storage area, which I feel like is very important to keep safe. Because, like, we're, we're going to have... We're going to have... What am I trying to say? Well, we're going to have metal detectors here. Probably here as well. Now, we have to remember doorways and metal detectors. Now, what's this room going to be? What have we got to put there? Staff room? Yeah, probably just a staff room. We always need more staff rooms. It could even be... No, I was going to say, we could make an armory. Or a kennel. Could be the place to put the kennel. Because we still have so much space left. But then again, we could use this point as the sort of extended armory and kennel. We still need to change this jail door to be a remote door. I feel pretty safe, though, looking at sort of what we have right here. There's a good amount of workspace... And several sort of different rooms so we can allocate different amounts of people to them. And turn some rooms off if we don't need them. 
It's like lots of expansion slots. We're probably going to only be using these two rooms or probably these two rooms at first. Yeah, I like that sort of little little dent there. Like I'm just trying to add some level of aesthetical quality to the game. Don't mind me. Is that enough workshops, though? Well, like I said, we can always use this in the future and just put our forestry somewhere on the outside. It doesn't necessarily matter. I like it. Let's get this constructed. This is going to be extremely expensive. And I'm not looking forward to it. So even that bit alone was free grand. This is going to be... Oh, boy. Yeah. Lots and lots of money. So we'll be able to get that sorted out. We're probably going to get a hell of a lot more bricks coming in as well. And purses. Great. Quite a few of them, in fact. Danger levels are going to most probably skyrocket soon. Our food is... Okay. There's 50 prisoners who are quite serious about this. Looks like a few of them are getting a bit... A bit angsty. Oh, I feel like that could have gone south very quickly. Yeah, that turned into a bit of a a bit of a tussle right there. I was really worried that we we're gonna get a riot. I said worry worried or something there. It was a bit weird. Another dead body. Starved to death? Look, this is what happened. They can starve to death? I didn't even know they could. Tell you what, that's probably why so many of them are low now when it comes to critical. They're all dying. Of starvation. Look, I'm giving them full accessibility to eat. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm really screwing up here. Let's look at our regime. Look, free time right after eating time. Yep, they have adequate feasting periods. They should be able to indulge. Should be able to. See, 44 of them are still in critical condition. Look, you got to stop fighting people. So many bells going off. Are you hungry? You got money on you. Why have you got money? Where'd you get the money from? Danger level's going down, oddly enough. Most prisoners are well treated. Which is fantastic. Oh, food's going down a bit. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Got my little sort of little, little quiet innkeeper voice. No, oh, not bad, not bad. We've got like tree fireworks going on right now. It's crazy. Good to see no more exclamation marks on there. It's because so many prisoners are well treated, as they should be. Oh, here we go. So we've constructed this now. Oh, quite the endeavor. Right, now what we need to do is get all the walls done. Yeah, this wall bit's going to be quite interesting to construct. We have the game running in the background. I think we're probably still going to have plenty of staff doors so that guards can... Actually, should we do that? I feel like sort of full security measures need to be put in place. We are going to have plenty of guards around here. So I feel like we should be okay. But I feel like maybe some armed guards would be ideal. Probably just have one armed guard sort of walking along here. Or maybe this stretch. One there, one there. Maybe just across. It depends, really. I feel like it's a very important area to block off. Alright, so this is the security room. I feel like having a big staff room here, just because I feel like it's probably going to sustain a few areas. Might even have a another way to get in through here. And then a workshop. We could even turn this a part of this staff room into a cleaning cupboard. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Before we do that. Three by three. Yeah, we're good. Easy. Then we'll just put a doorway right there. Oh, new prisoners coming in in one hour's time. Need to make sure that there are not any more gang members lingering around. Oh, we have one right here. Get out, sir. We do not wish you to be there. 
Uh, any others? Oh, yeah, we got one right here. You're on normal security anyway, so you're fine where we are. Where you are. We got a, another person right there. I wonder where you could be. Huh, I don't know. Seems to be living in this cell block, though. That's interesting. Well, okay. I'll tell you what we should look at. We should definitely look at stolen. So the batons, lots of drugs. Loads have been, loads of items have been found in here. We found them immediately though, which is great. Thrown. Oh, people are throwing things over. I didn't even know they could do that. That's on the inside, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's huge. Because it's just at the edge. We could purchase this slot, which would stop that from happening. Oh, I do apologize. Mo's going crazy right now. He's not crazy. He's just keep chewing this wood. Go away. Anyway. What do I do here? So there's a lot of items getting thrown. A lot of them have owners, but no sort of... Oh, right, no, they were found because that's where a big sort of fight took place. So you got one item that was thrown. Another one that was stolen from the infirmary. What kind of item is that? A scissors. Why do we not have a metal detector there? Need more metal detectors. Big one here. We found loads of scissors before, so we definitely need to get that sorted out. Utilities. Let's get that powered up. We should be able to keep it powered. Let's have a quick gander at the green power. Still don't know why this is so laggy. Should be okay. Uh, anything else? So something was thrown. Oh, wait. We have another legendary prisoner. That's probably why a lot of deaths may have been occurred. Okay. I'm going to put you in a supermax. I'm going to throw you in that cell. Okay, then. Well, that's good. Information. Any more legendary prisoners would be ideal. Ooh, what about... Oh, you know what? Some people probably got killed as well because they were snitches or something like that. It's hard to catch them on time because a lot of people that are ex-cops or snitches, they end up being question marks. Just need CIs for that, though. That's me being too slow or ignoring, a, I feel like, a very important part of the game. I'm really glad hearses are on a separate road. We've got so many of them as well. Alright, here we go. Number 15 coming in. We're going to close this for now. Who the hell are you? Ross Flame? He's a flame, apparently. Alright, before we do anything, let's have a quick look at information. Just gang member, gang member. Oh, a cop killer. I think cop killers are also meant to be thrown in protective custody. Because they end up getting killed by guards. And I think if they're labelled as protective custody, then the guards will not try to kill them. Because then, I don't know. I feel like they would be harder to really hide. I, I don't know. Normal. Normal. Look at, his, look at that guy's head. What's going on there? It feels like an alternative graphic because you could, it looks more like a hat. I think it is a hat. Benjamin Weston. 11 years for grievous bodily harm. Fantastic. He's... F look at him! He's nearly... He's 60, essentially. Round it up. He's 60. He's... It's, it's like Will Smith. It's the fountain of youth. Where is it? Tell us. You, absolute opposite. Tim Venning, you're 30. You look 60. Different, different class entirely. Alex Smith. It's a bit like a weird Smith. You gotta like Smith it. Alfonso the Hang Player. Summing. I can't see it over the X. Caught several times street busking with a Hang. Got more than 300 fines for it, but never paid a cent because he believes his music is free to be played. Where you feel like. Got violent when police officers tried to confisc confiscate 
his instrument and dot dot dot. I feel like a lot of these are just sort of Florida man situations. It's really interesting. Like Ross Flame, definitely a Florida man right there. Ross Flame, Liftshin, used to be a very kind and generous man until one day he bought a grenade thinking it was a beef patty and threw it into a burger restaurant. He laughed at the screams and the burning people is now serving a 69 year sentence. Florida man, that kind of thing. Tom Ward, Tyler looks just eternally pissed off. Sean Dummer, Tim Alex, Benjamin Piddock, which is the cop killer, right? Okay. We still have these riot police on call. We should probably stop that for now because it looks like we're in a slightly better, better way at the moment. Although food is still becoming a bit of a problem and it's still quite far away until feeding time. So a lot of this is sorted out now. So we need to do a lot of the flooring, which is going to be metal floor. A lot of our doorways just have concrete tiles to sort of separate them. Which is why I'm not covering them prop oh, uh, fully. This should be wood. Wood. White tiles. What kind of flooring do we want to go for for the workshop? I feel like a ceramic floor. Maybe? Or just sort of keep it as concrete tiles. Maybe just concrete tiles. I think that's a bit safer. Cheap as well. Whereas the ceramic tiles, very expensive. Got to be cost eff effective here. Okay, what if they break? Easy to replace. And then we've got a export zone. Oh, I'm in the wrong area. <laughs> There we are, exports. We also want to make sure these are both locked. Well, actually, no, for now it doesn't matter because we're not open yet. We're not open for business yet. We also should get some of these uh, deployments set up. Just quick and easy deployments for now. Nothing too crazy. We'll get some proper ones done later. Mostly for when we start putting doors in. If. Oh, found a shotgun. <laughs> What the hell you been holding out on us? Hmm, must have stole it when we found it? What? I'm really confused there. How do we confiscate all this stuff? We, we put them in bins, right? But I guess we don't have any bins to confiscate them with. Oh, metal detectors. We're still waiting for one more. All these hearses are still... Still a bit of a problem. Now, how many workers do we have? Okay, 38. Maybe too many. Let's round that down. Kind of want to round the guards down as well. We have so many guards. Most of them faceless. And some of them are still not wearing jackets, by the looks of it. Lots of cleaners. Admin staff is fine. Ooh, how are we doing on needs? Ooh, loads of people are hungry. But it's nearly feeding time. We are getting the food out there as quickly as we can before everyone just starts losing their minds again. Because at the moment, food is a really big one. I feel like maybe I just need to increase rations or something. Or maybe just how long we have sort of dedicated feeding time instead of just free time. Let's see if that plays any like sort of difference. Let's see if that does something. It probably won't do anything. A lot of people are just going to be sitting around, kind of annoyed that they have to sit there and watch everyone else finish their meals who came in late. But I feel like what's happening is some of these people are prioritizing other needs because it's free time and they can do what they want. It's free time, I do what I want. This is my theory. After all, I mean, currently right now we have 88 pri prisoners who are just furious. They wish to feast. We are not allowing it, however. Look at that suppression number go up. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Never seen anything as beautiful. Get ourselves another armed guard because we want to round that. Round it up. Right, so we're going to have more dedicated feeding time. 
Let's see if that makes any difference. So lots of people are just sort of sitting around now. Not everyone's needs are being fulfilled. A lot of the low security, uh, well, no, I say low normal security prisoners, quote unquote, even though they are higher security. It's a backward system. It's to make, you know, that the high security people feel safer. But we know how the game's really played. Is having that extra feed time, was that useful? Because we still got 36 people who are just furious. I feel like it did play a big part. I also feel like it's a bit pointless for me now just to separate their feeding times when they're already going to be sort of together. In fact, we really should double check to see the feeding times of... Okay, yeah, they're, they're during times when there's no way they're going to really interact with anyone. Well, I feel like it's better now. Sleep is really the big one that needs to be dealt with. And then it's sort of back on the rotation, as it were. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, we've done for today. We're going to get the workshop completed next session, hopefully. As well as all the other stuff. Then start training. We also want to make sure this exports area, when it's eventually separated, is going to be a max sec only. Don't want any medium sec prisoners working inside our workshop. Just max. How's the protective... Do we have two protective custody in here now? Yeah, we go. We've got two there. That's good. But anyway... Thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel and Twitch for live streams. It's been a pleasure as always. And look forward to see you all next time. Bye-bye.